video um just about uh some fishy information that's just you know there's so much so many lies and misconceptions and a lot of things so yesterday uh nasa launched a rover right to mars so it's already launched it's supposed to gonna take seven months to get there whatever but i want to pay attention to some of these statistics here now you look at this line here this is the horizon the earth is here and then the blackness of the sky whatever the space etc we see seven four hundred and seventy miles in altitude that's really far right it's about i think 756 kilometers above the earth that's pretty far okay so i did some conversion with the 470 um in miles on my phone here and um we're gonna show you something quickly we're seeing i was just looking up uh what was i saying here what altitude to see cur earth curve and one of video that popped up it says james may you know the british tv guy um one of the tv guys witnesses curvature of the earth and they're saying at seventy thousand feet right seventy thousand feet but when I do the conversion of, and then you've got that imagery, whatever, they have all these weird cameras, so of course they're going to show you some weird curves and stuff. Who cares? But at 470 miles, if we're looking at feet here, we see it's 2,481,600 feet. But James May saw the curve at 70,000 feet, right? 70,000, that's what it's telling us right here. 70,000 feet. It just doesn't make any sense. And when we look at this photo here where we're being told this is 2,481,600 feet above the earth but look at that straight line somebody's lying and the uh, nature can't lie and the truth is right in front of our eyes and a lot of these cameras have curves in the lenses anyway so how are you supposed to believe a lot of this stuff it doesn't even make sense so just my two cents of observation. It's just simply an observation. If you're going to call me an idiot, you're the idiot. Because actually, uh, I just showed you that James May supposedly saw this curve. Oh my gosh, it's 70,000 feet. That's nothing. That's like 13 miles. This thing is 470 miles. You understand? 2.48.16 million feet above the earth. But there's a straight line. So... It is what it is. As far as I'm concerned, I guess it looks like the Earth is Earth is flat based upon these numbers. Look how far that is, and there's still there's just a straight line. So somebody is not telling the truth, right? Anyway, peace and shalom, Zentrano music. We just looked up the ISS altitude and came to say it was 408 kilometers, but that in miles is like what 200 and something miles. So not even the people that was in the ISS was as high as um, where the rocket just launched at uh, 470 miles. So I was thinking, okay, the only other people who've been further than that are supposedly the people that went to the moon. Uh, supposedly the moon is like, you know, 200,000, 200, I don't know if it's kilometers or miles away or something like that. So supposedly they're the only ones. But that was back in what 19 you know 69 and some of the 70s right so you know that means basically no other human has ever been as far even as, as this rocket has been and again there's a flat line just food for thought real talk because a lot of stuff doesn't make any sense and the proof is more evident the fact that it seems to be more flat than to have some type of curve because what altitude do you need to be in order to see the curve when you look this shit up on google it tells you oh you need to be you know like a plane height thirty-five thousand feet that's retarded this thing is so far but yet it's a flat line you know so nobody knows anything then <laughs> google is not smart google's never been smart google is as smart as the people that put in the information into the into the computer into the net that's a smart. That's why Google's not smart. Google doesn't know. There's a lot of spiritual things Google doesn't understand. So Google's not smart. Food for thought, man.